How good is the model? At the lesson 8 of the third year statistic course, we was talking about cross-validation. Now we are going to use one of the scripts that we created in that lesson. Then it's going to be the number 41. Double click to open. And let's go to run this script first for the spherical model. And then we are going to run also for the exponential model. Then for the cutoff is going to be uh, 300,000. For the lag like, distance is going to be 30,000. The partial seal is going to be approximately as before because the model is going to be fit automatically. Then it's going to be the spherical model, the range Again, it's uh, approximately, I'm going to add to 50,000, 250,000. The nugget is going to be, again, approximately because the model is going to be fit automatically with this script. The number of bins is going to be uh, 13. And the title of the graph is going to be leave one out cross validation. Leave one out cross validation for ordinary Kriging. And that's it. Then we can run this script. And here, as you can see, we have the values for the model. In this case, is the spherical one with this partial seal over here, 0 0.056, with this range and with this nugget effect. Also, in this case, the root mean square error is this value over here and is 0 0.1237. Then let's go to double click to open and let's go to see the graph. Going to make this screen bigger. And here we have the residual values. We have some values that are pretty big 0 0.6 over here, but the rest is not that bad. For the histogram for the residual values, we can see that the histogram is pretty symmetric and we have most of the values around zero. That is uh, pretty important. Also for the normality of the data, as we can see on the QQ plot, it's pretty good, but we can see also that one on the histogram where we have a histogram that is pretty symmetric. And the cross validation here at the scatter plot, the observed values again, the predicted values, we can see that the black line that is the regression line, it's pretty close to the red line that is the ideal one. And with all this information, we can say that the model using the spherical model, it's, it's pretty good. Now let's go to do the same analysis, but for the exponential one to see if we improve the results. Then we are going to remember this value 0 0.1237. And here we are going to add the exponential one. Then let's go to run this one again. And um, for the exponential one, we have these values for the model, the partial seal, the range, and also the nugget effect. For the root mean square error, here it's a little bit less because we have 0 0.1180 or 88. And before what we have is 0 0.1237. The difference is not that much. Uh, let's go to see the graph. Let's go to make this screen bigger. 
And what we have here is the values, the biggest value over here are pretty similar as before, as you can see. And also the, the QQ plot, the histogram, and the, the scatter plot, it's pretty similar, you know, both are showing pretty similar values. I believe we cannot improve. Even the root mean square error for the exponential model, it's a little bit less. The values at the end are pretty similar. Then in this case, I'm going to say that we can use any of these two models to do the ordinary Krigin because the differences are not that much. In a more advanced uh, level of the analysis of the residual values, maybe we can consider to, to remove this value over here from the data set to see what's going on with the, with the model. Maybe we can improve and maybe we can consider to take this value out because it's pretty isolated over here and there is no other values that can make this value better you know at this value is this value over here let me show you in the data set is this value let me this value over here right it's pretty isolated we don't have any values here around this value and maybe that's the reason because we have a residual value that is pretty high here you know maybe we can consider to remove that one in a advanced uh, level of analysis of residuals but at the moment for this lesson we are going to leave like that and we are going to conclude that we can use any of these two models right the spherical and the exponential because both of them are providing pretty similar results